Hello everyone, and on today's vlog, we're going to be discussing uh, The Curious Elevator of Mr. Hanks by Bluefish Games. Let's solve the mystery. Why, hello, Sarah. Hi there. So, uh, what are we going, what would we be discussing today on the vlog? Today we're going to be discussing The Curious Elevator of Mr. Hanks, which Very is sort of a puzzle game. Um, by Bluefish Games, and it's one of those sort of um, sort of escape room in a box style things. So I'm not actually going to show you a whole lot of what's in this box because I don't want to ruin it for anything. Everything in this box is used to like solve the puzzles and um, the mystery of the Curious Elevator of Mr. Hanks. So we're not going to show a lot of the components that are included in this game, and this will be a completely spoiler-free review. Experience. Yes, exactly. So because um, we we really enjoy this, and so we'll get more into so it. This has been so much fun. Yeah, I've really been enjoying this one. So I'm going to read you um, sort of like the introductory thing, Ooh. Um, but I'm going to keep it private so you can't see the rest of what's on this this thing this Ooh. is the this is one of the first things that you see when you open the box and this will not spoil anything for you this will just be like one of the first things that you see when you open the box kind of tells you a little bit about the experience okay welcome friends the elevator is ready time to puzzle your way to the top read this page then make your way to hinkselevator.com i've left a present for you on every floor it is of great importance that you open each gift post haste, as it will guide you the, to the materials needed to solve that floor and include vital information. To move on to the next floor, a one word password will uh, need to be entered on the elevator screen on your phone. Um, other items you interact with will require codes that may not follow this rule. Below, I've provided space for you to keep track of floors and passwords, which are kind of like levels in the game. As you go, you can kind of stop at certain places. Um, and this page here allows you to sort of track if you decide to stop. Um, so hints are available if you need them within the elevator, with the first hint being a materials list of items that are necessary to solve the current floor. So every, um, every sort of like level um, you get a th one hint that tells you what it is that you need um, from the box because there's a lot of different stuff in here and each level you interact with different items in the box. So the first hint that you get on each level is a list of things from the box that you need for that particular level because otherwise you're just kind of like trying to figure out what you need and what you don't for that level. So that's the first hint and then um, all the other hints will give you like actual like hints on how to solve the puzzles that you'll encounter in that level. Um, so it says, while you will want to use these hints sparingly, if at all, my goal is to engage and invigorate, not to frustrate. The time has come. Go to hinkselevator.com and I'll see you at the top and in the Hall of Fame soon. Ooh. So, oh, and there's a PS down here. It says, PS, if you want the game to be replayable, just don't write on any of the materials. And a refill envelope is enclosed for the one item that would get destroyed. And then it says, good luck, Hinks. So the story behind The Curious Elevator is Mr. Hinks is that um, we have been summoned um, to sort of investigate this curious elevator um, that Mr. Hinks and... Um, associates have um, sort of manifested, I guess is a good way to say it. Yeah. Um, and every level of the elevator, um, there are puzzles to solve. Um, there are things to figure out. There are sometimes there are actually like physical things to put together um, and, and that kind of thing. So there's a ton of puzzles, escape room style puzzles in this box. Um, and if you like games like Unlock or the Exit series, um, this would be something that you would probably enjoy. I dare say I like this way more than those because... I would too. The, the hints for this... Uh, they they help you. You don't get frustrated because there have been times where like, well, let's figure this out, and then when we get frustrated, we're like, well, let's just go to a hint. And if we're the confused hints, on the something, the hints are so low, um, like low shame, right? And sometimes when I'm playing escape room games, I feel ashamed to 
not be able to figure something out or if I feel like I need a hint or I'm stuck or I don't understand what they expect from me or something like that I can feel kind of ashamed about it but in this game they're they're just like hey we want you to just have fun with the puzzles that we've created and the story that we've put together here so if you need a hint to be able to do that like we don't want you to get frustrated and just quit because you couldn't figure out how to move on and I think that they're it's it's one of the nicest most pleasant uh, hint systems that I've ever encountered in games like this. Yeah, because it definitely doesn't make you feel like, you know, you're dumb, but it, you know, it helps you along because there's times where we're like, well, we know what it is, but we just want to make sure. We or we know what it is, but we just can't figure out how to uh, communicate that we know what it is to the game in a way that it's going to let us move on to like the next part of the game. Yeah, and uh, everything in here is just pretty cool. And then when you do use the uh, the hints and you figure things out, it's just, you know, it's, it's a discovering at the same time because you discover some pretty cool nifty things and it's like, oh, so that's how that works. And then I can e e help you finish the rest of the puzzles or even, uh, you know, you can be kind of mindful of the next, like, series of puzzles that you will encounter. And we were actually going to... Um complete this and then do a vlog on it um, but we have actually sat down and worked on this several times and have not come to the conclusion yet um, and so aware of the sort of pressures of time we wanted to get a vlog out on it before we've been holding on to it for like months and months and months without doing a vlog on it even though we are working on it um, so we went ahead and, and decided to film the vlog today just so that we could kind of introduce you to it and so we could talk a little bit about it. But we haven't actually solved this yet. We are having such a nice time just sort of casually experiencing the game and, and all of the puzzles and things within that we didn't want to rush through it just so we could put the vlog out. Um, but like I said, we've we've actually sat down and worked on it several times without coming to a conclusion yet. So we wanted to be fair to um, Bluefish Games who sent it to us. We did want to do our due diligence, talk about it on the channel, show it to you guys um, without, you know, having having hold of it for like six months without, without doing anything on screen with it, right? Yeah. But we haven't finished yet. So there's still more puzzle for us to explore in this, more game for us to finish. Um, and we'll do a follow-up video when we get completely finished with The Curious Elevator of Mr. Hinks. But um, like I said, we just felt like we'd had it for long enough to where it was really time for us to, to talk about it at least once on the channel. Um, but since we haven't completed it, we will do a follow-up when we have completed it to talk about our overall impressions of it after everything has wrapped up. But so far, I'm really enjoying this. It has been a very casual, laid-back experience that has still completely captured my attention and my imagination, um, and it has been a lot of fun to just sort of take my time to go through here and discover what's going on with Mr. Hanks's Curious Elevator and, yeah. and everything like that. So. Yeah, and another thing I recommend, even for everyone that does eventually get this or those that are curious about this, I would recommend go ahead and uh, do it like we're doing it. I mean, maybe you want to shotgun yeah, it all. Yeah, take your time. If you, if you do shotgun through it in one sitting, that's I would all, be impressed. That's yeah. But, like, that's awesome. Good for you. But we, like I said, we've just kind of casually... We've, I've enjoyed it more in the in the parts that we've kind of just oh let's you know pick this up because if we don't really want to get into a full game of something we can or continue if we, were, if we just kind of want to sit for like an undisclosed amount of time yeah. and do like a sort of a free form-esque sort of game experience it's been really nice for those times there's a couple of things i do want to point out already um one of them is the overall level of production in this game so um Typically, games like this are sort of a um, single-use thing, right? Like, you use up the contents of the box, and then when it's when you've completed the puzzles, when you've finished the storyline, that kind of thing, you tend to have to sort of, like, chuck it because you've... you've it's expired at that point, right? Like, you've used it up. Um, however, in this particular version of, of this game... Um, in games, in this particular 
game in this style of games, they've actually made it so that you can pass along this game when you're finished with it to someone else and they get to experience it for themselves as if it were completely brand new to them. Yeah. They um, say that if you want to do that, you just don't write on the materials that are provided. And if you don't do that, then when you pass it along to someone else, everything is intact and completely ready to be discovered and explored by someone new. To the extent that there is a, a an item in here which would be destroyed or, or used up, um, and I don't know what that is yet, we haven't discovered that yet, but whatever it is, they even went so far as to include an extra one, just so that if you did want to um, pass this on to someone else, you could do that. And I think that in and of itself was <clears throat> um, very intentional um, and and very generous of them because they could have just said it's a single use thing when you use it up it's gone that's that but instead they said well it's a single use thing but if you want to be a little bit more cautious then you can actually use it more than once if you want you know by passing it on to someone else so i thought that that was a unique thing um that i thought that was they went above and beyond what they like yeah. had to do it was pretty cool to be able to you know have that option and send it off to somebody else so someone else can have you know another go at it and uh, have the same experiences and hopefully enjoyments that we're having but again understanding that not a puzzly you know escape room or escape the elevator type games aren't for everybody but this one is really like very you know, if you want a hint, I mean, the hints are helpful. They're not like some hints in games where they're like, what are you, what are you even talking about? Like, I don't understand. And I just wasted a hint on something I don't even understand. But in this one, the hints are just, they're very, they're clear. And you're just like, okay, I know. Or if you just look at the hint and you already know what you were doing, it concretes that you were in the right, going in the right direction. And like I said, I feel like they've put together a hints system that doesn't prompt any kind of shame or like shame. frustration. Well, I really get that way about this. No, yeah, I mean, I'm just... Know? Like, if I can't same. figure something out, then I'm like, oh, I'm stupid. And I, like, obviously, like, I'm not good I think that's to... one of the big turnoffs of these games is people play them. And there are times where you just get stuck and they're like we don't give you hints yeah. and it's like well okay then i'm obviously dumb it's like well no or there's a limited number of hints or there's like some kind of scoring criteria based on how many hints you had to use or that kind of thing mm -hmm. in this one it's really the hints are very approachable and they don't like they're not shame inducing yeah. um and i think that's because they were very intentional with the way that they created their hints system and like i said it, it even says in here um it says um let's see um my goal is to engage and invigorate not to frustrate so they really want you to be able to experience the puzzles and the storyline that they've created for their users they don't want you to like be confounded by 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 what's what's in the box right so I what's think, the box i think man? it was just a really nice approach i think it was a friendly and kind approach to this sort of game um and because i don't like that feeling of shame and stupidity um i think that to me that makes it this very approachable version of this kind of game yeah so, like I said, we'll do a follow-up when we've actually completed it, and we'll tell you what we thought about it from, like, head to head to toe kind of thing. Um, again, that'll be a sp spoiler-free, most likely. Um, we'll let you know if it's not If there's something but... that's just, like, so amazing, we feel like we have to talk about it, then maybe we will do a spoil version, but we will give warning ahead of time. There's just a couple things I wanted to show you before we wrap up. And they're going to be spoiler-free things um, that I think show even further the attention coolness. to detail. Yeah, attention to detail and and some of just like the the effort that was made to make this experience one that is just like incredibly pleasant and. Um, just like such a kind approach they took to to creating this. So this is a, it's like a single use box, right? And there's this little sticker that you have to break that says open for adventure. And when you open it, it says going up. And because this is all about an adventure that we're taking in this 
crazy strange elevator. I think that that was a nice little touch of theme that they didn't have to add at all, but they did. And then I'm going to open this very quickly for just a second, uh, and you'll catch a glimpse of the contents, but uh -huh. we, don't wanna, we don't really want to uh -huh. spoil Oh, it's in there. I just wanted uh -huh. to kind of show you the inside, how colorful it looks, and how eye-catching and friendly and interesting it looks okay. on the inside. So, right. ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's all you get. Yeah, that's all you get. <laughs> you got you to get your own copy to, to figure out all like the Like I goodies. said, we don't want to spoil anything. We'll have a follow-up video when we finish, and we'll talk about anything else that we felt like we were not able to cover in this video, either because we hadn't experienced it yet or we had not completed the adventure. Um, but so far, I've found this to be incredibly pleasant um, and pleasantly surprising in a few very nice ways that have been... Um, it's just made this just a joy to sort of experience in a casual, laid-back sort of way. So. Awesome. All right. Well, that was our discussion over the Curious Elevator of Mr. Hinks by Bluefish Games. And we will talk to you all next time. Toodles!